I was really struggling for a game this week. Were you? Uh, I could not think of any ideas. Mm. So I've fallen back on a classic. A classic. A game of a coach full of quotes. Caviar or sausage, an equine hoax, all this tippy-tappy bollocks, a coach full of quotes. Yes, I was listening to this the other day. <laughs> yes. Now, on a twist, mm-hmm. they're not necessarily coaches. Okay. They are professional athletes. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so, for the one you listener, <laughs> <laughs> who might not know. Yep. Um, you got to go back some. I'm going to read a, a quote, mm-hmm. and you have to tell me who said it. Simple. 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 Simple premise. All the fun's in the questions. Are you ready? Yep. Is it Claudio Ranieri? <laughs> <laughs> After being missed out of the ATP Tour Players Guidebook of Stats and Facts, mm-hmm. which tennis player said the following? They've lost my page. Somebody ripped it out. But I'm the main sponsor for the tour. I'm the guy who paid the most fines, so they should give me respect. <laughs> There should be a page saying, this is the guy who paid the most fines. <laughs> I don't exist now. I'm a ghost, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> this is a superb quote, and I think I know who it's going to be. Is that John McEnroe, uh-huh. Goran Ivanisevic, mm-hmm. or Nick Kyrgios? I immediately thought Nick Kyrgios, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, he... Pays a lot of fines, doesn't he? he? Does. He's constantly <laughs> getting fined. But now that you've said McEnroe, McEnroe, did they find players in those days? Oh, they must have. It wouldn't have been much. To, he used but... to go off, didn't he? A lot. He used to get. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a ghost now. I can do whatever I want. He looks a bit like a ghost, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. <laughs> With the old grey hair. Uh, oh, even Isovich. I don't remember Ivanisevic being very fiery, but he was a little bit before my time, Ivanisevic. Yeah. So I remember him winning Wimbledon. That mm. was kind of one of my first memories of Wimbledon. Yes, yeah, mine very, too. Yeah, because it was a massive shock. I remember my mum being like, oh. Yeah, came out of nowhere. First, first wild card to win. Giant. <laughs> yeah, he was awesome as well. Yeah. Um, so could it be Ivanisevic? I'm going to rule him out. I think he was too respected. No, don't know. <laughs> McEnroe I'm going to go McEnroe I think you got to go McEnroe yeah, ghostly McEnroe it was Goran Ivanisic was it? it was oh, he has he quite a few me. really good quotes really? yeah, yeah I can imagine that He's he's been on Wimbledon like commentary a few yeah. times recently he's, he's very funny he's outspoken yeah I should have known it's, it did sound like a somebody who doesn't speak English as their first yeah, language type yeah. quote Oh, yeah, I should have got that. <laughs> I, I discounted him because the other two were such good options. Yes. <laughs> A well-written question. Well done. I ticked that when you got it wrong. Yes. <laughs> back to form. <laughs> I haven't done that for ages. <laughs> got the marking wrong. Oh, it's a full throwback episode. Question two. When asked if he was a volatile player, mm-hmm. which footballer said the following? I can play in the centre... On the right, and occasionally on the left. That is volatile, isn't it? <laughs> Very volatile. Was that Ryan Giggs, mm-hmm. Roy Keane, or David Beckham? So they asked him if he was a volatile footballer. And he said, <laughs> I can play in the centre, on the right, occasionally on the left. So which one of them thinks that versatile is the same word as volatile? Or... Was Roy Keane saying it yeah, sarcastically? As a joke. Yeah, because he was extremely volatile. Yes, <laughs> and he knew it. Yeah, <laughs> but would they have really asked him, are you a volatile footballer, Roy? <laughs> because he probably would have kicked him. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. <laughs> are, you, are you a little bit angry sometimes? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face! <laughs> um, I don't think it'd be gigs. I don't think Giggs was known as that volatile, was he? He was quite level as a player. But if you hear him speak, he's not the brightest either. He's not, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But Beckham, Beckham was known for being a bit volatile. 
the kick against Simeone. And he's quite stupid. And extreme. <laughs> well, he was known for being extremely stupid in the day. I think he's sort of lost that image a little bit he has as he's to, growing older. Yeah. I think people respect the amount of money that he's made in his career. <laughs> yeah. You can't blame the bloke. He's, he has made a lot over his career and carries on. Yeah. Even now, he doesn't play football anymore. I don't know what he does anymore. Buys football teams. He just has loads <laughs> of money. <laughs> like he's got his own perfumes and everything. Yeah. Good on him. Um, so I think it would be David Beckham. I'm going to go with Beckham. And you'd be right. Yes. Keen was yes. too obvious. It was too obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be woke. <laughs> it's a great comment, though. Isn't it? <laughs> yes, I can. I can play on the right. <laughs> yeah. the we can only assume he confused that with Versa. Clearly. Superb. Brilliant. Good on you, David. Uh, question three Which sporting great said this in their autobiography? I've never lost a game. I just ran out of time. Mm. Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. Wayne Gretzky, or Tiger Woods? Wow. I've never lost a game. I just ran out of time. I don't think that would be Gretzky, because Gretzky is very modest. He was a very yeah. self-effacing player, but actually he was like, he always wanted to be the best, but he would never ever say that he was the best. But he, he was by far the best. He was by far, statistically, <laughs> and if you watch him play ever, the best. But he would never have said it about himself. So mm. I don't think it would be Gretzky. Uh, who was it? Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. Yeah. I don't think it would be Tiger Woods, because do you ever run out of time in golf? It goes on for like 10 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you've, had, you've had three days already. How much longer Tiger. do you need? Just, just, give it, what? just give me a little bit more time. I, just, I really need to get this put in. You've been there for a week. <laughs> eat, eat some food. <laughs> so I don't think it'll be Tiger. I think it's got to be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is very, not boastful, but very confident, very self assured. Yeah. So I think it's Michael Jordan. Good logic. And you'd be right. Yes. Great work. Yeah. I know my. Boastful, sportful players. Which NBA Hall of Famer said this about his new line of trainers? Okay. (laughs) You're laughing already. I like this. (laughs) Not even that funny. (laughs) These are my new shoes. They're good shoes. They won't make you rich like me. They won't make you rebound like me. They definitely won't make you handsome like me. (laughs) They only make you have shoes like me. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I didn't know how shoes work, and you've explained it to me perfectly. <laughs> Great. What's that? Magic Johnson, mm-hmm. Charles Barkley, or Larry Bird? The fact that he mentioned rebounds in there is quite informative because Magic Johnson was a passing player, he was an assist king. Yeah. Larry Bird was a shooter, a shoot king. And they called Charles Barkley the round mound of rebound. <laughs> that was his nickname. <laughs> so on that basis, I'm going for Chuck. That's excellent. Oh, very yes. good. I'm glad I chose that one. Charles Barkley's nickname is my favourite. They called him that when he played. <laughs> he is a big lad. Have you ever seen Charles Barkley play? I have. Uh, not play. I have seen him when I was researching this question. Yeah, he is huge. <laughs> like, yeah. Even and for the day, like players when he was playing weren't as big as they are now. Yeah. Like they weren't as ripped and built. He was just monstrous. That's why Shaq was so effective. Is because Shaq was very similar to yeah. Charles Barkley, taller, but just huge and players have had to adapt to that in the modern game because you just can't you can't deal with somebody that huge (laughs) how do you get round them exactly the round man of rebound (laughs) he's he now uh, tells Barkley is on uh, TNT's basketball coverage oh yeah with Shaq and a guy called Kenny Kenny Smith who's also an NBA champion and they are great they're so yeah. f- they're always ripping each other it's so <laughs> funny <laughs> ripping each other about trainers <laughs> uh, they're always ripping on Shaq for falling over <laughs> he's always falling over he's a big lad to fall over <laughs> oh, that's good question five you have three of four so far Damn well aren't I which football manager said the following mm-hmm. we must have had 99% of the match it was the other 3% that cost us <laughs> <laughs> the Ryan gigs. 
Was it Rude Gullet? Oh. Kevin Keegan? Mmm. Or Louis Van Hal? Oh, that's a tough one. Louis Van Hal, you'd have to think it's a slip of the tongue. Oh, I feel like he might have been joking, Van Hal. He had uh, a bit of a wicked sense of humor, yeah. didn't he? <laughs> I think there's a possibility he could have said it as a joke. I feel like Rude Hullet, he's quite a smart bloke, Rude Hullet, I think. Yeah. And also quite measured in his speech. I don't think he would have done it as a... Like, he wouldn't have slipped up like that. Just throwing a comment out there. Yeah, I don't think he would have made... That didn't sound like a joke, really, no. from Hullet. I think Van Hal might have done it as a joke, just because he's, like, making a joke of how yes. bad he is at English. Yeah, he, does, he did actually <laughs> he, quite a lot. He has a bit of that streak. Of, yeah. But Keegan... Oh, he said some things. And he, none of them made sense. Yeah, he very much struck me as not that bright. <laughs> Literally vegan. said the first thing that came into his head. Yeah, it, there was a. I remember Alistair McGowan. Do you remember that show? What was that show? Alistair McGowan, The Impressionist. Yeah, where yeah. He, would, he did a Kevin Keegan, and he would be looking round the screen, and then he'd be saying, "They asked him why he was doing it. He said he was reading his words from round the screen." <laughs> I remember that. One of the weird. I don't know why I remember that. It's just one of those things <laughs> that sticks in your brain, isn't it? Uh. So I think it could well have been... Ke- I'm going to say Kevin Keegan. Kevin Keegan? You would be wrong, Ooh. but is who I would have thought. Yeah. Rude Hullet? Mm. It was Rude Hullet? Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's intriguing. I wonder Don't what... know math. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't do math, old Rude. That's impressive. That's not impressive. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would never have... Maybe I a joke? Never, Maybe. In a word, like, never in a million years have guessed it was Rude Hullet. Maybe a joke. Question six. Mm -hmm. Who said this about golf? Hockey is a sport for white men. Basketball is a sport for black men. Golf is a sport for white men dressed like pimps. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm not seeing those pimps. No. (laughs) Not in any TV show I've watched. (laughs) Golfers don't dress like pimps, do they? (laughs) Golfers dress like golfers. There's a very idiosyncratic way that golfers dress. Who said that? Michael Jordan, Mm. Phil Mickelson, Mm -hmm. or Tiger Woods? That's a tough one. That is very tough. Michael Jordan played golf in the film Space Jam. And I think you know that. And you think you know that I know that. <laughs> I do know that you know that. Yeah. Plays golf with Larry Bird and Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, it's such a good scene. Um, oh, could it could be Michael Jordan. Maybe he, that's why they put it in Space Jam after he said after this. After he said that, yeah. For the real, like, nerds who knew everything he'd ever said. Tiger Woods, I don't think tiger woods would have said it i don't think so because he is a black man that he would, is that would have discounted but, him from but also means he's allowed to say it yes that's true but then phil mickerson hasn't shied like, away from things he's yeah say, i feel so. like phil mickerson's got a bit of a mouth on him oh absolutely he does and <laughs> i think people generally take things that phil mickerson say fairly lightly I think he'd get yeah. away with saying those sort yeah. of things I think it could well be Phil Mickelson in fact I think I'm going to go with Phil Mickelson you're going Phil Mickelson so yeah sound logic yeah but you're wrong correct mm. it's a disaster Tiger Woods I can't give you the context though I don't know what the question was no or... that's... <laughs> he just it didn't it wasn't a context <laughs> he put it as a press release <laughs> breaking news <laughs> his latest tweet yeah <laughs> Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm very surprised that Tiger Woods said that because he doesn't, he's not known for having a good sense of humour. No. Woods, really. <laughs> I watched, you know, have you seen How Ridiculous, the YouTube channel? Yes. Where yeah. they drop stuff on stuff. They did a challenge with Tiger Woods recently, um, relatively recently, last few months. And I watched it. And they're like having so much fun chucking golf balls and like playing golf and stuff. He is not having fun, Tiger. No, he, he, no, he never looks he like he's having fun. He doesn't get it, I don't think. I, if he gets it, he doesn't. he's not showing that he gets it. <laughs> but they did one with Ernie Els and had loads of fun. Ernie Els was like he's enjoying his life so much. Tiger doesn't. He doesn't no, look like he's having fun at all. He does not. No, interesting. Final question. Okay. What am I? Three from six? Three from six. Oh, 
Got to get this. Got to get this to go over 500. Which boxer said this? Oh, Boxers are good for quotes. This is going to be so tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a job. Grass blows. Birds fly. Waves pound the sand. I beat people up. <laughs> Was it Eric Cantona? <laughs> it sounds just like a Cantona quote. You got four options this time. Oh, you can't do this to me. Changing the odds. Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. David Hay. Or Tyson Fury. Oh. That's a tough one. I'm going to immediately discount Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah? It's not poetic enough for Ali. Grass grows. Birds fly. Waves pound the sand. Yeah. Those are all things that actually happen. Muhammad Ali was things like, I'll chain lightning. I'll make a rock bleed. <laughs> I'll pound the sand. <laughs> I, I don't beat people up. I beat up the sand. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. The sand beats me up. Wait. <laughs> I'm in bed before the lights go off. In, covered in sand. <laughs> <laughs> On the beach. <laughs> Muhammad, you've gone mad. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think it's Muhammad Ali. As much as I would love to have a Muhammad Ali quote, <laughs> I don't think it's Ali. So that's good. That's down, that's down to three. So Mike Tyson, David Hay, or Tyson Fury? Oh, I mean, it could be any of these. Yeah, I, I feel it's too eloquent for David Hay. You can't say that because <laughs> you know the question. <laughs> You're trying to lead me down the garden path. He, just, he, uh, he would say something along the lines of... <laughs> Grass, birds, <laughs> fight. Let me hit him. Let me hit him. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. I didn't think it was David Hay. I was going to say I didn't think it was David Hay, but now that you've said it, I'm a bit worried. Uh, I don't think it's David Hay because I think you're right. I think he was, he wasn't the sort to talk, was he David Hay that much? Oh, he just talked shit, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't Idiot. talk proper words. No. <laughs> <laughs> My toe. <laughs> So it's either Tyson or Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it could be either, couldn't it? Mike yeah. Tyson was nuts. Yeah. But it's the sort of thing that he could have said. And Tyson Fury's nuts as well, but in a very different way. He has some very good quotes. He's, he's, he's very he's quotable. great, Tyson Fury. I think he's great for sport in general. And yeah. And definitely great for boxing. So I think you've probably put him in here because for recency mm, we've, we've uh, spoken we've about that about him quite a bit. So I think he's been put in as a ringer. Mm. I don't think he's the one who said it, which leaves me with Mike Tyson. Does. I'm not. I'm not sure it's <laughs> Mike Tyson. Start again. <laughs> Start again. Muhammad Ali, I think it is. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to go with Mike Tyson. I've ruled all the others uh, out. Mike Tyson. Of course, it was Muhammad Ali. No, it was. Of course, not. it was. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ali, you've let me down. I'll beat people up. It's my living. I'll beat up the sand. I'll beat up the land. Grass grows, birds fly. I can't I can't hear it in his voice. I'll it beat people up. Everybody has a job, I'll beat people up. It doesn't it just doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right. Was that towards the end of his career when he'd run out of lines? <laughs> I like it. Do I you? I think it's poetic. I, mean, I quite like it. It's, it's not. It's kind of obviously poetic in a in a way that Muhammad Ali usually wasn't very obvious. Yeah, poetic. That's true. he was usually very inventive. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. All those things are things that actually happen. They they are, and he beats people up. That's true. That is true. I'll give him that. Maybe it was very early on in his career. Maybe yeah. And Before he, he had of, a writer. <laughs> yeah, he graduated to bigger things. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. So you got three out of seven. Yeah, still better than the odds, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you. Caviar or sausage, an equine hoax, all this tippy tappy bollocks, a coach full of quotes. <laughs>